Hello, I am back and I have a Sephora haul for you today. Um, I, have, we, I, I did some shopping um, at the Sephora VIB sale and I used some of the products to make this look. Um, so I do have like some overlays you'll see of me using some of these products, but yeah, I got some things that I have really enjoyed thus far. I have a couple more things I am going to get in the sale, but this is just like my main haul. Like the, the, the majority of the things I'm going to get I've got in there in this bag. But I will tell you some of the other things that I am going to get uh, a little bit later. But let's get into the things that I got. So first I got, I'll just start with the first thing I got this fresh sugar peach hydrating lip balm now I have had some of the fresh stuff in the past I have this um, fresh sugar lip treatment and honey um, I like the color of this but I don't like the texture of it on my lips for whatever reason so I thought I tried this um, and I did get it in the peach kind of uh, scent and taste. They do have some other ones, but the girl likes peach, and I have used this. Uh, you'll see in the demo, I have already used this, but it smells so good. It kind of comes in this little jar. Now, normally I don't like the ones that come in jars like this too much, but um, it's peach. I love fresh and the way their products make my lips feel, so I was like, it's worth it. We're gonna get it. So I did get that and I am enjoying it. I like I like it thus far. It feels nice on the lips. It's kind of more of like a light if you, it's kind of like the Laneige lip sleeping mask, but like a little bit lighter in consistency is how I would uh, how I would describe this. I actually got less than I thought I was going to get in this sale. Uh, if you look at my cart, there's like $160 worth of things that I did not get that I wanted. Um, the next thing, I got a backup of my YSL Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. Um, I did use in like the demo this foundation, but I didn't use my new one. I used my old one that I'm almost out of. You can see I'm like running low on it. Um, but you, here, you can tell. This is what it looks like new. Here's mine. So I went ahead and got a backup while it's on sale because I am running pretty low on this but it is the foundation I'm wearing today it's just nice and dewy and beautiful and I really love it it's I'd say medium coverage um, but it's very glowy it's got SPF in it and I just really love it for day-to-day -day wear and it's just it's beautiful and it's expensive it's YSL so I got it on the sale because it's pricey so I wanted to go ahead and get it so I actually got the I got the milk makeup what is this called hydrating oil stick now I got this because of Jay Kissa she mentioned that she uses this on her body and I've been having some dry skin that has been like making me like itchy lately um, and she said this hydrating oil would help things like that she says it's helped people with like eczema things like that so um, I thought I could just use this on my kind of like dry patches but also um, she mentioned that this looks really nice on tattoos I obviously have tattoos um, and I thought this could be nice to put over like my color tattoos to make them look a bit brighter and um, yeah I went ahead and got this I thought I'd try it and you know see how it works for me uh, I haven't really got to use it too much yet because I just got it but I'm excited to try this and use this and what I do like is it's a stick and I don't have to worry about like I have oils that I can use on my body but this is just nice because I don't have to like get it on my hands and stuff I can just put it on so I did get that okay so I got this way leave-in conditioner I've heard wonderful things about way but here's I did try this uh, last night I washed my hair and then I sprayed this in and stuff I think this did a good job of like detangling but I don't think it did like the greatest job of like making my ends like super soft or anything so I don't know how much I like this it says it's good for uh, smooth soften and detangling hair so I think it helped to detangle my hair my hair is like super tangly all the time but uh, as far as making it soft and smooth I don't, I don't know I don't know how much I like this yet 
Oh, I got this, uh, this was only $7 and then the discount on top of that. This is the Sephora mask. They have these cute little face masks. Now this says it's only for five uses, but I feel like I could get more than five out of this. But this is the banana one. I did try it in store, like the tester, and it smells like bananas and like... Um, but this is for hydration, so I thought I would try this. It's super cheap and affordable, so I thought I would try it. I like hydrating stuff right now just because my skin has been going through it. Um, so I thought I'd try this and see how I like it. They have a bunch of other ones as well. I just thought I tried the hydrating one. So I have almost used up my Fresh Soy Face Cleanser and I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, it's really nice and gentle for my dry skin that I've been having. Um, and I feel like it's nice, but I did want to try a new one since I'm almost out. Um, if I, just, I, I have used this in the past. This is the First Aid Beauty uh, face cleanser. So I thought I'd just try this one. I know it, I liked it in the past and it was gentle. Um, and it says it's safe for sensitive skin. Um, and I just remember liking it. So I thought I'd try it. If I don't like it now with my new skin, I used to have oily skin. Um, I'll just go back to that fresh one. But I thought I'd, thought I'd try that one. So I got the, um, I already took this one out of the thing because I wanted to smell it. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Now guys, this thing is such a fine mist like it smells like watermelon but it's such a like it's like one of the finest mists i've ever used on one it's just wonderful and smells like watermelon it says it's hydrating and glowing um i'm pretty glowy today and the other setting spray i actually used today is super glowy so you know, but I thought this would be nice and like refreshing for the summer especially. And then I also got the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. Now I tried this one in store and it was like, I didn't have any makeup on and I just sprayed it on my face and it was like super refreshing so I was like, yes please. And it's, it's also a fine mist. I love the way this one smells. And like just feels this one feels just so nice on my face like of all the ones i have today this one just feels so nice so it's the vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water i don't know what is in this that makes it so wonderful but it's just super nice and it feels so refreshing on the face and yes yes great i love i love fresh products here's here's my big boy product that i was super excited for this is what's a majority all over my face and you will see like the demos with this but i got the natasha denona bloom palette now originally i was not interested in this because of the red shade in the palette which i'll show you i thought it was going to be entirely too dark for my face um so I kind of just like wrote this product off and then I saw a few people with pale skin talk, or lighter skin talk about it on their channels. So I saw uh, Nicole Renee talk about it, I saw Andrea uh, talk about it, um, and a couple of people with fair skin talked about this and how much they enjoyed this. So I was like, okay. Um, so I tried it, I got really interested in it and I bought it. And girl, guys, everyone, like, it's beautiful. So I think this blush still isn't one that I'm, like, super excited for. And right now I'm very much into, like, the peachy blushes. I've been using um, the Too Faced I Will Always Love You blush where it's, like, this peachy gold. Beautiful. I just love it. These orangey shades are, like, what I'm wanting, and this is just beautiful. So what I did today... I put this glow as a cream base, this one, um, and then I used this kind of orange, this one's supposed to be a highlighter, but I actually used it as a blush, that's like the main like blush color that you see on my face today, because I wanted to use that as a blush, and then I used this glow extreme as a highlight, and guys, it's stunning, look at that, beautiful, I love the shade and the undertone of it, it's a very like champagne peach without being like too dark, it's stunning. And then that shade is also all over my eyelids, which was so beautiful. And then I actually used this red blush on my lips today. Super creamy, like super creamy, super pigmented. But I've actually seen um, some people with fair skin use that um, deep red shade on their cheeks and it blends out just very nicely. 
it feels super comfortable on my lips like it's not like dry or like drying down weird and you can see it's still glossy it's and I, I just use this for like all of my face I just totally forgot to do my brows today I didn't mean to do that but I definitely just forgot to do my brows sorry about that and my unkempt brows it's okay um, but it's on my eyes my cheeks my lips it's my blush highlight eyeshadow lips it's just beautiful I'm so excited to continue to use this like this shade is stunning I'm so excited about these three but I'll still use this one it's a really pretty like lip shade as well stunning and then I got the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade earthquake I wanted a brown eyeliner and I had previously been using the milk makeup brown eyeliner because a youtuber said that the eyeliners were just fantastic so I bought it and I really liked the shade of it but it was so messy and so difficult to apply and the sharpener with it is just a nightmare to use and you can't even sharpen it it literally just stays like dull and it's just not great like once it was on my eyes it stayed on nicely but it was just so difficult to work with that I was just like Every time I used it, I just got frustrated, and I decided to just get a new one. I had used the Marc Jacobs eyeliners before, and I enjoyed them, so I was like, let's try a Marc Jacobs one. So I got the shade Earthquake, and I used it today. Very easy to use. So much easier to use, and it doesn't have a sharpener. It's got this little um, twist-up pencil, which is super nice. Um, and it was just so easy to use. Normally with like pencil eyeliners, it's really hard for me to like make a wing and it just made it so easy today it's just beautiful like I love the way brown eyeliner looks and it just I just like it. it's soft but also just like impactful if that makes sense and I think it looks so good with like the peachy tones I'll have to zoom in so you can see how it looks like actually like on the eyes with that and then like my brown eyes I just really like I really like it I'm excited to have this one I was so disappointed with that milk one because I was excited. I love milk, um, but I just like it just didn't work for me, and I was so sad about it because I love milk. It's one of my favorite brands, but we got this. And then I got the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Now this one um, I got because of Kathleen Lights. She recently mentioned this, and I saw her spray it on her face, and it was just like so dewy and beautiful. And I was like. Alright girl, I see you. So, um, this has literal gold in it. Like, I don't know if you guys remember the YSL Two Chocolat Blur Primer. It's like that, kind of, in like a setting spray. It's just hanging out in there, which is so cool. It smells super nice. Now, Kathleen Lights used this um, as a base before her makeup. I haven't tried it like that, but I did spray it all over my face um, after I did my makeup. This made my makeup look like just skin. Like, you know how, mix, how MAC Fix Plus will do that? Like, you spray it on it, it makes your skin look like not powder anymore. This did that, but it also, like... I'm just so glowy, like super dewy, like, like this is probably the dewiest setting spray I've ever used, but this is the Fasali Rose Gold Skin Mist if I didn't say that. <sighs> I got a bunch of skin mists. This one makes your skin like the dewiest, I'd say. And the last thing I wanted to mention, this wasn't from Sephora, but I just went across the, the way and I got a new Lush Mask of Magnum Minty. I went through like a whole one, so I thought I'd get another one even though that one's not from Sephora but I people like to see things people buy it's fine so those are all of the things that I got for this initial kind of haul there are a couple more things that I do plan on getting um, that I couldn't find in store or decided I wanted to buy after I already like left um, so I'm going to show you really quick those few things. So the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three, it's like a hair treatment. Um, I want to get this. It's basically like a, I, I guess it's like a hair mask, but I've heard like everyone ra uh, like ranting and raving right now about Olaplex, so I want to try it. I They have shampoo and conditioner, but I have a shampoo that I've been trying from Drugar that I really like, so I just thought I'd try a hair treatment because your girl loves hair masks. 
like that's what does it for me so I thought I would try that and then I don't know how to say this Com uh, Comptour Sud Pacifique it's um it's a perfume and it's the one in vanilla apricot I wanted to try this because I saw 11th Gorgeous talking about it and they said it's just this really nice sweet smell and I thought I would like it um looking at like the notes and stuff it's jackfruit apricot papaya vanilla sugar candy fresh carefree and beachy and I feel like I would like that and then they have some other ones that are like uh, there's like a vanilla cocoa, which I thought I would like, because it's kind of like a more coconut one, but I thought I'd try this one first. And then the last thing I want to get is another T Natasha Denona product. It's the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat in the shade Peach. I'm all about the peach right now, just like my the tones, and like I got the, the peachy lip balm, and uh, I, I want this shade. I think it would be very pretty. Um, or just any of these, honestly, are probably stunning. Um, I just think peach is going to be the one I go for. Um, and yeah, I have, honestly, I've bought a lot of makeup recently. I don't know if y'all want to see it, but like, I could just do a separate haul for just all of the makeup I bought recently. I've been, I was at a point where I was just like on a slump with makeup where I was just like, I have what I need, nothing new and exciting is coming out, and there just wasn't anything I was that interested in. But recently I've got back into it, there are some things I'm just really excited about. Um, and it's exciting for me, I'm excited to get back into the, the things that I love, and you know, just for a while I was struggling and I couldn't find anything that I was just like super interested in or anything that made me super excited. And here we are now, and I have all these things, and I'm gonna get more things, and yeah. But that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Comment down below some of the things you're getting or excited for in this Sephora sale, um, and I will see you next time. All right.